That tree is awkward. All right. Strike? That can't be. Guys, here! I have some prey! <sighs> Thanks, Abs. Then wake up! Abby brought prey! She what? Food! Abby brought food! Food! Wolves, no manners whatsoever. <laughs> Nothing important! Just I'm gonna try to get you another rabbit. Alright, sorry. That was delicious. Indeed. That's very nice and all. Not that you weren't nice before. Can you teach me how to win the fight? Of course. But that will have to wait until the wounds on my paw have healed a bit. It's a tad sensitive at the moment. I didn't mean to rush. I was just asking, well, you know, when we're back in the den again. I will, I promise. Don't worry about that. Maybe I could show you some stalking techniques now. That doesn't require any rapid movements. Try your best stalking position. Oh, okay! Not bad, but it, it needs some work. Try lifting your hindquarters up a little. Like this? Yeah, but don't carry your tail. I know you have a tendency to do that. I know. Most rogues don't do it, do they? I don't even know how you manage Kura like that. I can't get mines further up my back as this. I have a flexible tail then, I guess. And a short one as well. Sure, Elon. It's best if you don't curl it. See it as what it is. An extension of your spine. Try keeping it in line with your back, or maybe a bit lower. That's better, but you're still not quite there yet. Do as I do. Getting close. You think so? You... You should lower your shoulders a, a bit. Uh, okay. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing at all. You sure? Yes. Get back in that position and try to move forward slowly, no noise. I'll show you how to walk really silent as soon as possible. Really? Yes, totally. I can't wait to start training for you for real. Although I must admit that I'm much better at fighting things my own size than killing prey, bigger sp Thanks, but what now? You know what? I think I'm going back to sleep again. Does that bother you? If it does, I'll stay awake. Nah, you go get some shot I'll practice this move some more. Alright. Sheba, you're here. Are you hurt? Not that bad. But you don't look- I told you, I'm fine. You're like this because you lost a fight with a wolf, yes? Well, what do you expect? He's the guy who brutally murdered my mom and my dad. I never thought I'd get a chance to have revenge. But then that puma came and we went and it's him! It's that wolf- Sheba, calm down. Take a few seconds to breathe. <sighs> Alright, now what? Sheba, we all hate wolves. That's why we're cattle dogs after all. To protect our cows, sheep and goats. 
But you hate wolves more than any cattle dog, we know that. But are you really certain that this is the guy who killed your parents? Aren't you blinded the slightest bit by your trauma? He's just a grey wolf, and there's lots of grey-coated wolves in these woods. Oh no, the wolf who killed my parents just happened to have the same missing eye, the same markings, the same hunchback, and the same coat color as this one. I suppose you do have a point on that. This isn't a very usual looking wolf. Of course I have a point. Now come on, let's go back and try again. Shiba, are you crazy? Have you seen his moves? This is insane. We tried to protect the cattle from invading animals of Silky's clan, and we failed. I say we should let it go and go back to the farm. We can warn Onyx and the others there for possible threats and prepare them for the worst. This is my one and only chance to kill that monster, and I'm not gonna let it slide. I'm going back to end him, and I'll bring his heart to the farm as proof. Shiba! Reconsider? No. If you're not going with me, then that's your problem. Tora, are you with me or against me? Looks like it's just me then. Shiba! Don't! It's suicide! I won't let you ruin this perfect chance for me, Strike. I'm not cowering back with my tail between my hind legs. I have to kill that monster to let my parents rest in peace. No! This is not the right way. Your parents wouldn't want you to face that wolf, Shiba. They'd be worried sick, you know that. Don't you- Hello? It's that cat! She's in cahoots with that monster. Shiba, you shouldn't- Strike! Let me have her! She'll lead me to the monster! Wait. Let her finish. Strike, you have to listen to me! How do you know who I am? Don't act like you don't remember me! I understand that you don't recognize me in battle, but now you should know who I am! There... There was something familiar about you. I can't quite put my claw on it. I don't care whether you two know each other or not. Cat, show me where that wolf is. Shiba, hush. Cat, you... Your smell does have something familiar. But it also smells really... Oh, for crying out loud, it's me, Abby, the barn cat. You know me. You were a puppy when I was born, and we always played together in the hayloft. Abby... It's you! It's really you! <sighs> what now? It is me. I didn't recognize you before because it was in the heat of battle, but I later found your color and I couldn't believe it. The same goes for me, I guess. It's so long ago. You were only a kid when you vanished. Now that we're talking about that, what happened to you? You and Katie just... disappeared. Millie was heartbroken. She assumed you two were snatched away by some kind of predator. But you're here, alive. You don't even have a scratch on you. Except for that ear, sorry. Doesn't matter. Katie and I weren't snatched away. We... we left. But... Mom must have told you that her father was a wild cat. Maybe she didn't understand it herself, but it means that her kids have wild cat blood. Katie and I always felt drawn to the woods, and one day we just decided to leave. The wildlife seemed much more appealing to us. We didn't tell Mom or Balco or anyone in the barn because we were afraid they'd stop us. We were pals. We could have trust. No, we couldn't. Not anyone. You know how all farm animals are towards the wild ones. They're all monsters. Pluko here seems to think so, at least. My name is Sheba. I know most of them. Maybe you're right. I'm not sure if I would have kept my mouth shut. But... You're alone. There's Katie. 
We spent the first few months in the wild together, but you know how cats are. They're loners, not group animals. We split up and went our own ways. I haven't seen her since. That's a shame. But I'm glad to hear that you are alright. I suppose that you're not coming back to the barn with me just to say hi? No, I'm sorry, but you can give them my greetings. My life is here now. Yeah, and what life? You're not living solitary. You're with those wolves. I accidentally ran into the younger one a few days ago while catching a bird. We had a talk. She's nice. Plus, her father seemed to have vanished. I decided to stay with her until he returned to support. I think I'm going to stay with them for a few more days, but then I'll go my own way again. I don't understand why you chose this way of life. But I don't have wild blood in my veins, and I'm not a cat either. I respect your choice. But... Why are you dogs here? And why were you attacking one I and Lynn? You're all cattle dogs looking at the colors of the blue ones. Shouldn't you be on your farms? <sighs> so that's the hunchback's name. I'll remember it for- We got visited by a cougar who made an offer to us. A cougar made an offer? Aren't those things supposed to kill your cattle instead of talking to you? Yes, but this one was different. Apparently, there is this big clan where she's a deputy of. She offered that if we'd go after a deformed one-eyed wolf, she'd guarantee that no animal of her clan would set foot on one of our farms. We've been dealing with a few wolves trying to eat our cattle lately, so... A clan? Please continue. I want to hear more about this. One Eye was actually taken prisoner by that clan a few days back. That's why Lynn was alone. I... I don't know much more. You should come with me! I have to tell Lynn and One Eye about this! It doesn't make any sense that a member of the clan would ask you to kill a wolf for them if he was their prisoner a moment ago. I don't know. That old man did give me quite a wound. But it is curious. I'll come. Oh yes, I'll come too. I'll show that monster what I'm really made of. Not now, Shiva. This makes stuff a lot more complicated than it seems. We have to sort this out first. But I... After we're done. Maybe you'll get a chance to take him down. Just maybe. We first need to find out what that clan exactly is doing. The old wolf can most certainly tell us more. Tara, are you coming? Oh no, Tora, you're coming with us. If that monster and his little punk decide to attack us anyways, we'll need all the fighters we can have. Sheba, let her decide. Take us to the old wolf, cat. Okay. I'm sorry for you, Onyx. I hope Rin you to soak you will help. Maybe she'll be willing to give you something like a place in her clan. Nothing will ever be enough to compare with my friends. I know. We'll just have to wait and see. All those cats staring at us. They are our tree guards. They guard the main base by, you know, watching from the trees. Sarah, you go and get some rest. Mr. Jones! Silky! Mr. Jones! What is it? Mr. Jones, it's Rufus. I know you asked me to warn you when he was there, but you were on patrol and I could not go after you because I- GET TO THE POINT! It's Rufus! He's been waiting for a half day now! He arrived early this morning. He doesn't want to start a meeting without you. Oh no. Miss Jones?
Mister, get easy, sir. I'm so sorry for being delayed. It is not a problem, Silky. I wanted to wait until you were here. I'm so sorry for my failure, sir. I didn't expect to be back this late from patrol, and you arrived earlier than I expected. Carry and sit down, Silky. I'm not angry. We can all get a little tidy at times. And it's my fault I'm here so early. Oh, yes, sir. Alright, now that we're all here, we start the meeting. I mean, is it really necessary that you guys have tree guard? Wow! I... I've never seen so many different animals together. This is the main base of our clan. Come on, let's go and get some prey. I'm starving. Five, don't linger! I am a bit hungry, yes. Well, this is where our prey is stored. Pick something to eat. Uh, don't you guys have some kibble? A steak, perhaps? You won't find that food in the wild. Just eat it already. Uh, I'll cheat later. Go back to your farm, then. There's no better food over here. I understand your problem. It took me a while to get used to the taste of prey too, but now I wouldn't want to go back to kibble. This isn't so bad, it's just... Ugh. Never mind. So, Quepso, sir, you live with humans? I see you wearing a collar. Yeah, Richard and I did. We lived in a small cottage in the middle of nowhere with an elderly lady. She died and nobody came to look for her, so we buried her. After that, we were homeless. We lived free for a while until we met a patrol of the clan. We decided to join them because we weren't going to survive being homeless much longer. <sighs> That's sad. We were only your age when we started to live in the wild. To us, the clan seemed like a new way of life, and now, it is. I sometimes think back to our old owner, but this is what my life is now. I don't feel homesick or anything. To live in the wild, it must be so different from, you know, sleeping in a comfortable bed, getting your kibble every day, never having to do much. If that is the lifestyle you desire, fine. This is my place now. But what about you? Are you going to stay here, even after you know? I don't know, alright? I just, I thought that I could go back, I suppose, but not yet. I'm not done. I first need to find, uh, Silky. You can stay here for as long as you like, but you should ask Silky for permission if you wish to join us. Forget it. <sighs> you okay, Silky? Oh yes, no problem. The meeting went great. Anything you can tell me about it? I know there's a few secrets between you and the leader. All I can say for now is that there was some trouble in the second district. But Rufus solved the problems already. Just some punks trying to rebel. Oh, okay. Anything else I can do for you? No. <laughs> Mrs. Jones! Mrs. Jones! Kiwi, what is it? It's a deformed demon! He's still-